Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're out on the beach, not too far away from my house. There's a nice uh, beach access right here uh, on the coast of Japan. So pretty nice, beautiful, sunny day. So I thought I'd come out here and record the video instead of being cooped up inside my apartment. Um, in this video, I wanna talk about uh, acceptance, appreciation, um, being thankful, being grateful, uh, for the things that we currently have in life, you know, uh, I tell you guys some of my personal feelings and thoughts. Hopefully there's some of you out there that can relate to it as well. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that can relate to it as well. That's why I'm making this video because I want to find people who can relate to what I'm saying and, you know, we can, we can hear each other out, you know, but, uh, that's it. Just being thankful, accepting, being grateful and taking our time with where we're currently at in life and enjoying the position that we're in, being thankful for what we have. Um, for the past three and a half years, I've been living in, almost three and a half years now, I've been living uh, been living in Japan. And I don't live in Tokyo or Osaka where it's you know a big, beautiful city and lots of people and always something to do. I live in out in uh, the countryside of Japan, so um, I don't have that type of lifestyle that you might be thinking when someone says they live in Japan. I live out in the country, really. Um, so there's not always something to do. It's a, there's a lot more time where I'm by myself more than anything. Or, you know, luckily I have a girlfriend who I spend a lot of time with um, on the weekends. But the thing is, the thing I want to talk about is, uh, like I said, being thankful and, in, and uh, grateful for what we currently have. Some of you out there watching this video, you know, you might not have everything that you wanted to have in, uh, as far as success as, as far as success goes at, at your current age. For example, I'm 36 and I have not reached the level of success that I hoped I would have achieved by this age. I thought I'd be you know far ahead of where I am right now, but I'm not there. But I am in a really great place. I do get to live in this beautiful country called Japan. I do make a good income and I make enough, I make more than enough money to support myself. I can, I could support a family. I've been able to pay off all of my debt and now I'm able to actually save quite a bit of my money and use those savings towards bigger investments. And then, you know, those investments will create more income for me, right? That's what I'm able to do now. Three and a half years ago, I could have never done that. Um, Three and a half years ago, my life was in a completely different place. I was unhappy, I was stressed in a terrible marriage um, and with like 50 something thousand dollars in debt. Um, and now all of that is gone. Uh, and now I'm in a wonderful relationship that I'm truly thankful for. So the point is, some of you guys out there watching this video could be in, in a very similar position to me where you haven't reached the success that you want but yet you have a wonderful family or you have a wonderful life where you make good money and you're able to do what's important save pay off debt and invest and and also be able to treat yourself and take vacations every once in a while um, be able to travel you know weekend you know once a month you can take a weekend trip and go somewhere you know twice a year you can travel abroad i mean these are great things great this is a great lifestyle to have. This is something to really be thankful for. And sometimes, because I'm able to do all those things now, um, I take it for granted. I get unhappy because I haven't reached a level of success that I want that I wanted to achieve by this age. And uh, it is it is discouraging. It does affect me um, emotionally and mentally sometimes. But you have to step back. You have to be thankful for where you're currently at. Think about where you're living. You know wherever you are wherever you're living you might be living in a beautiful house and have all of the things that you want all have all the possessions that you want you could have that um, and still feel like it's not enough more than likely what you have is probably enough and you should be thankful for what you have for me i'm thankful for what i have because it's far more than what i had when i was 30 36 now when i was 33 32 years old I'm in a far better position than I was at 32, 33 years old. The other thing is, you know, let's all, we all have to be patient. You know, not everything happens at once. It does take time to reach a level of success uh, that we want. It takes time to create that abundance of, of, you know, wealth that we all hope to achieve, that I certainly hope to achieve. It takes time. 
And luckily right now I'm in a position where I can enjoy my life and start to invest my money and create the lifestyle that I hope to have. You know, really when I'm 40, let's say 40, I'll be in a completely different financial situation, be able to live a life that I can really be thankful for at 40. And then 45 and 50, I hope is completely, I hope, I want those to be in a type of life where I am blown away by how thankful I am for the time that I, that for the time that I took and the patience that I had back when I was 36. Like I'm 36 now, so when I turn 40 and 45 and 50, I'll know at those ages that because of what I did when I was in my third, when I was 33, 34, 35 and 36, because of the decisions I made back then in those age, which these years, these past three years have been very crucial years in my life, that I was smart enough to make some changes and start getting very disciplined about the about the the route I was going to take in life I've become very disciplined so I know that when I become 40 45 50 I'll be thankful because of what I did right now everyone out there anyone who's watching this more than likely if you start having that mindset you'll you'll be able to relate you'll be able to feel the same way about the decisions you're making now so that in three or five years, you'll you'll be like, I'm so glad that I did that. I'm so glad I took my time. I'm so glad that I enjoyed life the way that it was back then because now I have this. Now I'm living this type of life because I was disciplined and I was smart and I was happy with the way my life was back in those days. One, one thing I, uh, I wanna mention that I encourage everyone to do is to start journaling. Write down your thoughts and ideas. Uh, this is something, I don't do it every day because not every day I have something to write, but I do write um, at least, it always has to be a minimum of one page in this, in this notebook that I have where whenever I have an idea or a thought or, or an emotional feeling, I write this down so that next week, next month, six months or next year, I'm able to go back inside that journal and look and I'm able to go back and read what I wrote and I'll be able to read the way I, what I was feeling, what I was thinking back then and be thankful that I wrote it down because now here I am so much time later, a month, six months or a year later, I'm able to go back and read what I wrote and recognize the way I was feeling back then and, and think to myself, thank God I got over that. Thank God I gave myself time to to get over that and to let let things pass. Because had I made any other had I made a decision based on emotion back then when I was feeling that way, I wouldn't be where I am today because of that emotional reaction I had. I'm sure there's people out there that can relate it, relate exactly to what I'm saying. So my point is for this video guys if I could wrap it all up into a quick into a quick into a quick sentence is just be thankful take time take your time and allow things to happen get yourself in a position where you can finally pay off debt save money and reinvest money and be thankful for the people that you have around you and treat them well um, be kind show people with respect and be happy for what you have in life. All right, guys, that's that's all I got today. Um, I hope somebody out there can recognize, uh, appreciate what I'm saying. I hope that you can relate to it. And if you do, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.